hi guys welcome back to the desk corner welcome to a new video of course today's video is not really a video where we're going to be doing art in fact it's just going to be a chatty video and I thought it might be fun to incorporate some chatty videos into my channel to allow me to be able to post more often because the actual art creation videos take a lot longer and I thought it would be fun to incorporate some more FaceTime in this channel if you will. If you guys have any ideas for this particular style of video or you have any topics you'd like me to discuss let me know. I thought maybe I could do some switching off between like talking head and then doing swatches or something on the desk view as well. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about my thoughts on gatekeeping in the art community or calling yourself an artist or a professional artist or terms that get thrown around because I feel like I've gotten comments about this before and I get questions and things like that. At this point in my life I'm really tired of the word artist being taken so seriously. Of course it's not by everybody and in fact it's not by anybody here on the YouTube community that I like to interact with or anything like that but in the big scheme of things there is a lot of connotation around the term artist. A lot of people seem to think that if you don't make all your money from commissioned work or selling prints then you aren't an artist. You have to be some kind of professional to be an artist but art doesn't have to be your profession. You don't even have to make any money off of art to be an artist. It just is a term to describe somebody who likes to create things, whether it be drawings or paintings or sculptures or music or anything else. I sometimes get comments where people say things like, I'm no artist, but, or this and that, but the reality is if you enjoy creating anything and you do it on a somewhat regular basis, it's something that you consider a hobby of some sort, then I think it's fair to call yourself an artist. Even if you like to fill in coloring pages and coloring books, a lot of people call themselves colorists, which I guess kind of is a more specific term, but you're also kind of an artist too because you are doing all the work of shading and blending. Sometimes people think that you have to be really good at drawing freehand or sketching to be an artist, and that's not necessarily true either. There's a lot of pieces people can create without creating a huge fantastic sketch outline. You can also transfer your image by either tracing, using a grid method, using a light box, anything like that if you would like to. You don't have to master the technique of outlines if you don't want to and if that's not your thing and that's not something that you need in order to call yourself an artist. Because the reality of that is it's a totally different skill anyway than the actual techniques of blending, shading, painting, whatever it is that you're doing. So there are a lot of different skills involved in it and you don't have to be some kind of master of everything to call yourself an artist either. I know this is really obvious to a lot of people but then at the same time it isn't obvious for many because we still have a lot of confusion and gatekeeping around the term and who is allowed to call themselves an artist. Another thing is that you can make money off of art in 2021 in a lot of ways that you couldn't in the past. So even if you don't like to do commissions or sell prints necessarily, and if your whole art business doesn't revolve around having a shop and selling things, that doesn't really mean anything because there's other ways that you can make money off of your art regardless. And I've seen a lot of YouTubers especially like let's say somebody like Chloe Rose where she turned art into her career but not necessarily in a traditional sense. Another thing related to this is art supplies. So I'm not one of those people that thinks that you can't have really nice art supplies or really good quality art supplies unless you're selling your work or something like that. I honestly think that if you want the better quality, if you're able to afford it, and if it would help you to improve your techniques and skills to have better quality art supplies, then you should go ahead and buy them even if it's just to fill in coloring book pages or to do very simple pieces every once in a while. If it makes you happy, why not invest in it? And it'll probably help you to develop your skills more anyways. And these types of professional grade supplies are not 
reserved only for people who are selling their work. Of course, if you're a beginner and you're trying to be more cost effective, then you can save money and use less supplies or even cheaper supplies, but I'm saying that if you want to buy a higher quality set of supplies but you feel hesitant about it because you don't feel qualified or something, that just that should not exist. Gatekeeping in the art community in general just annoys me whenever I do come across it and see it. I really remove myself from that now and don't surround myself with people who are like that, but when I was a younger artist I would hear things that would just make me feel bad, things like about which style of art you need to do in order to be a proper artist, or different sketching techniques or that you would have to freehand every single drawing that you do. I no longer freehand every single drawing that I do because it just isn't time efficient at this point anymore. I don't care about the rules anymore. That's, I guess, the moral of this video is I don't really care about the rules. When I was a lot younger, like maybe even 10 years ago, and I was watching Heather Rooney videos on YouTube, and she would do the really hyper-realistic art with colored pencils and just post speed drawings. I remember back then a lot of people were criticizing her, of course because she was gaining so much fame and people were probably just jealous of her, but there was a lot of critique of people saying that she is just somehow cheating her way through it using a copy machine. I even heard people saying stuff like she just traces it and that's how she's able to make it look realistic. Anybody who's ever created art knows that tracing something is not going to suddenly make it look really realistic. Even if you have the outline down, there's a whole art to actually shading or coloring. The other comments that I would notice that she got, and I'm using her as an example because she was kind of the first artist that I saw that blew up on YouTube when I was younger who I would watch all the time, but I would also see people saying that because her art was so realistic it was pointless and she could just print out on a copy machine something and she was pretty much just a human copy machine. Some people were saying it as some kind of compliment, but other people were actually insulting her with this. For me, I just don't understand it. And I don't mean these to be negative videos either. I think that these are just important topics to discuss because a lot of people who are either younger or maybe not even necessarily younger but just a younger artist as in a newer artist no matter what age the person might be sometimes when people are coming into it and starting to look up art videos or starting to look into things that's where they will notice all these aspects of art or artist gatekeeping I guess you could say whereas after being an artist for many years or after kind of, you know, integrating yourself in the art community for many years, then you just don't care anymore and you don't even listen to those people. You think that there's really no point to listen to them. But I guess this video is more for anybody who's a newer artist or is struggling with this because now with everything being online and social media and all of that, there are just a lot of things people can say now and there's a lot of hurtful things people can say, of course, too. Okay, I think that about sums the video up. I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on this and why I don't care about the term artist, why it's a very loose term for me, and anybody who creates art of any kind should be able to use it. I think my rant is now over. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you have any more topics you'd like me to discuss, positive, negative, whatever it might be, then let me know and let me know your thoughts about the term artist in the comments below while being respectful, of course. But I have some really awesome viewers who are always leaving really kind comments anyway, so I don't really have to worry about that. This is why I love having a smaller channel sometimes, because really your community is so tight-knit when you have a smaller channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is just an extra one. It's not gonna count for my video of the week, of course, and any of these will probably just be extra videos thrown in for fun to give you guys more content. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.